Sup dudes, I'm Nate Heater. And I'm Frank Lamontia. And we, we are, are the, the Sup dudes. dudes. Coming at you from my car in a parking lot at a movie theater. You know what that means? Say it with me, everybody. Movie review time. <laughs> And make sure you don't get on that naughty list, because we just saw the movie Violent Night. Yes, Violent Night. And a brief description is basically, it's like Die Hard, but gorier. Can we say that? Yeah, all right. Die Hard. But gorier. Die Hard meets Hallmark meets Home Alone. Meets however any other Christmas movies I've referenced it's, it out. Uh, but, uh, yeah, okay. And unlike Die Hard, this one is definitely a Christmas movie. There's no debate whatsoever. <laughs> So, this movie stars David Harbour. Stranger fans know who this is. Yes, he played Sheriff Hopper, I believe. Is I, I believe that's right. His name. Yeah. And it also stars John Leguizamo, which is interesting because we just saw him in the last movie, The Menu, the review we did. Yes. So, back to back. Oh, he's getting yes. around now. And that, was a, that was a horror comedy, and this is an action comedy. So, it's yes. interesting. And last but not least... Uh, Beverly D'Angelo. I'm there you sorry. go. Yes. She plays the matriarch of the family. And uh, I recognize her. I couldn't quite place the name. The voice sounded familiar, but uh, she's getting up there, but she still looks good. We'll give you, again, we'll give you a little synopsis more than just Die Hard meets however many Christmas movies yes. we just said. It's basically about this group of criminals who take a rich family hostage, and Santa just happens to be there. And he has to basically save the family. Long story short. Okay. Without giving too much away. I think you gave a little too much already, but that's okay. There's plenty to keep you... I mean, and at the same at the same time, you got to see it in the trailer anyway. Yeah, I guess. I didn't see the trailer, so I don't know what was yeah. it was. All, all right. Yeah. So, I freaking love this movie. Frank, <laughs> not so much. I'm going to go first. Well, no, I, I, like, I like it a lot. I like it a lot. I just disappointed a couple spots. So... Go ahead. I don't think there was anything wrong with this movie except for the very beginning. The beginning took a little bit of time, but of course you have to build up to it. But after a certain point, and I want to say it was probably when they switched over to being the bad guys. From there, it was just kept rising. Great movie overall. Fight scenes were amazingly done. Um, fight choreography was awesome. I guess that's fight scenes or whatever. The comedy actually made me laugh, unlike the last comedy horror movie we saw. <laughs> this one was actually getting me. It's much more subtle than the yeah. other one. I will say, they tried to use a bunch of one-liners that were christmas theme that didn't really hit. But a lot of the other times, though, when it was just a, a, funny question, a funny remark or whatever, it got me pretty good. And the action's good, the, the blood, guts, and gore. We can really emphasize blood, guts, and gore in this one. For a Christmas movie, which is unheard of, but, you know, there's, like, mm. Krampus and Black Christmas, but whatever. We, we won't talk about them. We're talking about Violent Night. And overall, I have nothing bad to say about this movie whatsoever except for the beginning. So, and I can keep going on and on about the grace of this movie. Loved David Harper in this movie. Harbor. I thought... Harbor, sorry. Ho I'm, I'm thinking of Hopper. Hopper and Harbor. And Harbor, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, David Harbor was amazing in this movie. So... I can keep going on and on, but it's getting kind of cold right now. Frank, go for it. All right. Um, yeah, the beginning was kind of rough. It was like a really bad Hallmark movie. Yeah. And uh, it was. I was ready to write this movie off. And since I didn't see the trail, I really had no idea what was coming. But uh, if you stick with it, it uh, it takes a nice turn. And uh, the story gets more interesting. Some of the characters are absolutely stupid. Um I mean, they're supposed to be, but it, they, uh, they were stupid. They were the the writing for them was bad. Some of the acting was bad, but uh, even the dad I didn't like. But uh, oh yeah, we forgot to mention Trudy, the little girl. Yep, she's uh, very uh, instrumental in this. But like Nate said, once the uh, bad guys entered the scene and um, the action picked up, it. Uh, it redeemed itself. And uh, the gore factor was really good. Yep. The comedy was mixed in very well. And uh, it was a really good movie. Really, really good. It almost reminded me of when we saw Nobody with the yes. action the yes. action comedy mixed together. Yes. That I think I think Violet Knight a, had that good blend that Nobody did of action and comedy yes, when you needed it. It's on a par with that, I would say. Yes. I would think so, too. 
And we all, you guys know, if you saw that move, if you saw the review, if not, go check it out. Yeah. We could use the views. Um, <laughs> but no, it's basically really well done. I want to say it was over the top times, but I think it was well done over the top. Yeah. Well. Oh, and I also want to say one more thing. Go ahead. Skull Crusher. Skull Crusher. Skull Crusher. Um, I don't want to ruin anything, so just wait for Skull Crusher. Skull Crusher is a main character. Is yeah. Key, plays a key role. Absolutely. <laughs> I, when an, when a, a name like Skull Crusher mm -hmm. isn't listed in the cast, but it's like one of the best parts of the movie, <laughs> you know it's done well. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. That's all right. You want to get to the ratings? Uh, yeah, let's go. All right. Well, I don't know if it's because it's a holiday spirit, um, or it was Ooh. how great the movie was, or a combination of both. Excuse me, sorry. I think I've only ever given out one 10 out of 10 movie, and that was you know, don't. In the Heights. You can't do this. Nobody don't. had a nine, and, nobody had like a nine and a half for me. Black Phone had like a nobody. nine and a half. He doesn't yeah. even give a nine. Yeah. The movie Nobody had nine and a half out of me, and I think the Black Phone had nine and a half out of me. So those are like my top three. Make it top four. Violet Knight, 10 out of 10. I, well, okay. It is a very good movie. I would not give it a 10 because there was too many stupid parts. Um, just lame. It, 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 there were some... The movie's not lame. There were a couple parts that were really lame and they shouldn't have even been in there. They were predictable. But overall, the story is really good. The action is really good. The gore is really good. And for a violent action movie, it ends up being a feel-good movie. And uh, I would give it an 8. An 8? An 8, yes. All right. Well, just like the menu, we have another easy average score. <laughs> Flash it right now, 9 out of 10. Yep. We forgot to mention this last time. We have our top 10 list right here. Okay. And without really remembering what the top 10 list is, this is probably one of the top ones at a 9 out of yeah, 10. Yeah, I'm sure this is up there. Do we recommend this movie? Abso-freaking-lutely. Yes, yes. I cannot recommend this. We sat close to the theater. I mean, the screen. Yeah, it's unfortunate, but... But I think it made it so much better because it felt like... I hate saying this cliche. It felt like we were part of the movie, but like being that close and seeing everything up that close, for this movie, I think worked. Yeah, well, it was kind of hard to encompass the sides sometimes, but yeah, it was. Uh, it helped with the gore, I tell you. Oh, absolutely, much. yeah. Uh, we we both love gore, so to see it uh, that close, it was kind of nice. It was like it was hitting my face. <laughs> no, not like that, but yeah, like when you're in a rock concert, and the sweat bounces off. You. <laughs> yeah, the blood would have bounced off of us. Surprised they don't do that for theaters a lot of times. Yeah. Right? <laughs> mm. All right. Anyway. With that being said, I'm Nate Heater. And I'm Frank Lamontia. And this is probably our, sorry to interrupt, probably our last review of the year. Maybe, maybe not. So if we do that, we want to say happy holidays, everybody. Happy holidays. So we are the, the Sup Dudes. Dudes. So long. Stay on the nice list or you'll be sorry.